Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to start our AWS certification journey. Specifically, we are going to decide AWS certification path. So which path to go in AWS. So starting with which AWS certification should you start with? So as you can see, there are three multiple options. So if you are a new to tech like me from a non-IT background, switching to a cloud carrier, then you should start with AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner that validates foundational knowledge of AWS cloud and terminology. So your outcome would be your positions you for entry-level cloud jobs and to earn ad additional certifications. But if you are related to business roles like in sales, marketing or a business roles, then you should start with AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner that validates foundational knowledge of AWS Cloud and terminology. And the outcome would be better communication and collaboration on cloud with stakeholders and customers. And finally, if you are IT professional and if you have one or three years of IT or STEAM background, then you have to start with an associate level AWS certification that aligns with your role or interest. And the outcome would be validation of AWS cloud knowledge and skills, confidence and credibility to build your cloud careers. So in my case, I am in the first stage to, I'm the new to attack. So I want to start with AWS certified cloud practitioner that validates my foundational knowledge of AWS cloud and terminology. So let's see more about the passes. So as you can see, we have uh, several AWS certification paths. So we have a uh, starting with solution architect. As you can see, the, the solution architect roles and responsibilities is to design, develop, and manage cloud infrastructure and assets, work with DevOps to migrate applications to the cloud. So if you want to become architecture, there are two options. You can either become solutions architect or application architect. So if you want to become a solutions architect, you have to go this path. So you have to start with cloud practitioner, foundational certification, and then you have to go to solution architect associate, and then you have to go to the professional certification, which is AWS solution architect professional. And if you want to go deep dive, you can go to AWS certified security specialty. And there is also application architect if you want to go with the architecture. So the roles and responsibilities of application architect is to design significant aspects of application architecture, including user interface, middleware and infrastructure and ensure enterprise wide scalable, reliable and manageable systems. So if you want to choose applic application architect, then you have to of course, start with Cloud Practitioner Foundational Certification and then you have to go to Solution Architect Associate and AWS Developer Associate and then DevOps Engineer Professional. And finally, if you want to go deep dive, you have to go with Solution Architect Professional. Then there is also Data Analytics. So if you want to become a Data Analytics, you have to go with Cloud Data Engineering Path so the basically the roles and responsibilities of cloud data engineer is to automate collection and processing of structured semi-structured data and monitor data pipeline performance so the cloud data engineer path starts with cloud practitioner and then the solution architect associate and then you have to go with data analytics specialty and finally if you want to master that you have to go with security specialty. And there is also development role. So here you can development pass. So here you can go with software development engineer. So the roles and responsibilities of software development engineer would be develop, construct and maintain software across the platforms and devices. So basically those who wants to be software development engineer, they have to earn the Cloud Practitioner Foundational Badge and then they have to go with Developer Associate 
and then they have to go finally with DevOps engineer professional. When it comes to operations, there are multiple options. We have a system administrator and cloud engineer, and these are really popular now. So if you want to become a systems administrator, and the roles and responsibilities would be install, upgrade, maintain computer components and software, and integrate automation processes. So system administrator path would be like, you have to earn first the cloud practitioner foundational page, the, the certification, and then you have to go with sysops administrator associate. And finally, if you want to deep dive, you can go with DevOps engineer professional. And most of my friends are basically now like going with this path systems administrator and there's also another popular path, which is cloud engineer. And the roles and responsibilities for cloud engineer is to implement and operate an organization's network at computing infrastructure and implement security systems to maintain data safety. So as you can see, cloud engineer looks like a bit more tough because you have to first earn cloud practitioner foundational, and then you have to go with sysops administrator associate and then you have to go to security specialty. And then if you want to deep dive of cloud engineer path, you have to earn DevOps engineer professional certification along with advanced networking specialty. So I guess the, like, uh, as far as I'm concerned, like I see that cloud engineer is not an easy path uh, because you have uh, most of the roles, as you can see, you have to get a, a lot of certifications but it's a really good path. It's a really good journey. So coming to DevOps path, we have a test engineer, cloud DevOps engineer, and we have Dev DevSecOps engineer. So starting with DevOps, like test engineer roles and responsibilities, it's embed testing and quality best practices for software development from design to release throughout the product life cycle. So if you want to become a test engineer, then you have to get cloud practitioner, developer associate, and DevOps engineer professional. So next, uh, next is a cloud DevOps engineer path that uh, the, the one that I want to go with, the roles and responsibilities of cloud DevOps engineer is to design deployment and operations of large scale global hybrid cloud computing environment, advocating for end to end automated CI CD DevOps pipelines. So if you want to go with cloud DevOps engineer path, then you have to first get cloud practitioner foundational certification. And next you have to go with developer associate and then uh, the Sys sysops administrator associate is optional, but if you want to go deep dive with cloud DevOps engineer path, then you have to, of course, get DevOps engineer professional certification. And this is a path that I'm going to, like that I'm focusing on now. So I'm now preparing for AWS cloud practitioner foundational certification after achieving like, uh, after achieving like a uh, digital leader and associate cloud engineer from Google Cloud. So next one, we have a DevSecOps engineer path. So roles and re responsibilities of DevSecOps engineer is to accelerate enterprise cloud adoption while enabling rapid and stable delivery of capabilities using CI CD principles, methodologies and technologies. So if you want to go with DevSecOps engineer path, then you have to get the first cloud practitioner foundational certification, and then you have to go with SysOps administrator associate, and then DevOps engineer professional, and finally the AWS certified security special certification. So coming to security, we have a cloud security engineer path as well as cloud security architect. So if you want to go with cloud security engineer path and the roles and the responsibilities of cloud security engineer, basically design computer security architecture and develop detailed cybersecurity designs. So develop, execute and track performance of security measures to protect information. So the, the cloud security engineer path require you to get 
Cloud Practitioner Foundational Certification along with SysOps Administrator Associate and Security Specialty. But if you want to deep dive into Cloud Security Engineering path, then you have to also get DevOps Engineering Professional and Advanced Networking Specialty. Coming with Cloud Security Architect, the roles and responsibilities of this path would be to design and implement enterprise cloud solutions, applying governance to identify, communicate, and minimize business and technical risks. So if you want to go with Cloud Security Architect, then you have to get Cloud Practitioner, Solution Architect Associate, Security Specialty, and Solution Architect Professional. Coming to the networking path, there is a network engineer path and it's the, the roles, and res roles and responsibilities of network engineer is to design and implement computer and information networks such as local area networks and wide area networks and intranets and extranets and etc. So if you want to go with network engineer path, then you have to get cloud practitioner, solution architect associate, advanced networking specialty, and finally security specialty. And coming with AI and ML, we have a machine learning engineer path. The roles and responsibilities of machine learning engineer is to research, build, and design artifact intelligence AI systems to automate predictive models and design machine learning systems, models, and scams. So if you want to go with machine learning path, then you have to get Cloud Practitioner, Foundational, Solution Architect Associate, and you can go with sysops administrator associate or developer associate and finally you have to get machine learning specialty certification so these are the paths that i have read about from the aws certification pass pdf as you can see this is the quick overview so if you want you can go and read more about them but when it comes to choose the specific path, it's really, really important that you have to first choose your AWS certification path and then focus on that. This will save a lot of your time and energy. So do not just read, do not just start without choosing your path. It's really, really important. So when it comes to my path, as I told you, I'm going with Cloud DevOps Engineer uh, because it's really interesting for me. I also know GCP, Google Cloud Platform, along with Terraform, Docker, Kubernetes. So uh, let me know you, which path you choose in the comment and why you choose this path. So it's really interesting for me as well. So if you want to start the specific path, you have to first get to know the exam and exam style questions. So if you want to achieve specific certification, you need to know the exam and exam style question, of course, and you have to learn about exam topics. So AWS Skill Builder is the best. I think I have also started this uh, from the uh, AWS Skill Builder page, as you can see, I have also started that. But basically I am preparing for Cloud DevOps Engineer Pass from the Udemy courses. And specifically, I think most of you guys know the Stefan Merrick's courses on Udemy, uh, which are designed for AWS certifications. So whatever you, whichever the path you choose, you need to start with foundational certification and it would be Cloud Practitioner. So you have to get the Cloud Practitioner certification, whichever the path you choose. So uh, understanding and and understanding the foundational knowledge of the cloud is really important. So that's all about it. So if you want to know about what uh, like the AWS certification holders say about the the certifications, you can read more about it here. So as you can see, the guy saying that certification adds credibility and demonstrate my commitment to learning and implementing best practices in real life projects. The AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional and an AWS Certified DevOps Engineer Professional Certifications gave me the best ratio of time and effort to value and have done most of my reputation saying the eager Soroka Freelance Cloud Software. So I guess, yeah, um, getting this 
two certifications are really great achievements when it comes to the the, the architecture, the roles. So that's all about what I wanted to show you guys. So again, if you choose a specific path, let me know in the comment and why you choose that. It's really interesting for me and, and as well as for others. And I will see you in the next videos. Thank you very much.